O7 Citizens Black here from Casa Black Gaming, where I get right to the point with all of my guides so you can get back out into the verse. Happy Patch Day! Today I wanted to offer up a quick loadout for the all new Drake Vulture, which became available today in the PTU Wave 1. Now, I did not get a lot of time with it before the server gave me the old boot, but I got a little footage, which should be enough, and the information I have for you will be what you need to not only be able to get the components you need, but also where to easily find them with my nifty little graphics. This loadout it's not going to take long, so let's go ahead and get to it. Now, as usual, I like to start off these loadouts with the ship components first, as they are usually the most expensive, especially on a ship that does not specialize in combat like the Vulture. For the shields, we get two size ones, so picking up two of the FR-66s, especially for that extra distortion damage, in case you get into a scrape while out salvaging, you can head to either Cousin Crows or Crew L1 to pick this up, and the cost on this is around 18,450 credits apiece. Now, let's move on to the power plants, which are pretty much optional at the moment until we get the ship component revamp that will be happening sometime after 318. But if you happen to think you'll come under fire from distortion weapons and think you'll need more protection from those, you can swap it out for two of the JS-300 power plants, which are also available at Cousin Crows, Grim Hex, or the Platinum Base Store on Hurrell 2. And this will set you back 19,700 credits. Again, most people use the stock power plants and coolers as they're not currently doing much, but we'll see. Now moving on to the Quantum Drive, the Size 1 Atlas is the one I would spring for so you can get about the verse with the best mileage for the size fuel tanks that the Vulture has. The Atlas can be picked up at Cousin Crows, Grim Hex, or Arc L1, and the cost of the Atlas is 17,900 credits and should be the very first item you pick up if you can only choose one. Alright, now let's move on to the ship weapons, and seeing as how this is a salvaging ship, there isn't much to do here in terms of upgrades. The two CF-117 Bulldogs that you're going to get with gimbals is perfect as is, and are probably what most people will be using for this ship, and since the gimbals are size 1 and not size 2, you do not gain anything from removing them since you cannot upgrade those guns a size higher. So I would leave them as they are, making this simple. The Vulture does not get any missiles, so there's nothing else here to grab. Alright, so my shopping tip for this video to help you get as many of the ship components as possible in one place for some one-stop shopping is simply to head to Orison, where you will find everything for this ship there. The shield, engine, and power plants, if you decide to pick them up, are all at Cousin Crows, and Orison recently had its QT altitudes changed when coming and going, so it no longer takes 20 forevers to leave or arrive there, making it a lot more convenient to travel to and fro. Alright, and that's going to do it for this quick loadout of the new Drake Volt. I hope you found the options I provided useful and I really want to hear how you guys are liking the ship so far and if you enjoy what I do then please do all of the things to help my channel grow. I'll be doing the Drake Vulture Honest Review later on, either right after 3.18 releases or close to it. I'd like to get some footage that doesn't have the testing at the bottom of it, but until then, I'll see you. And remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, don't leave your ship around with no shields on, and stay positive citizens.